Mr. Gates. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. There has been a cover-up regarding the origins of coronavirus. We see it in the Fauci emails. We see it in the G7's call today to renew an inquiry into those origins. We see it in the Biden administration's efforts to squelch investigation into the origins of the coronavirus. And I want to figure out what side the FBI is on. On April 28th, Dr. Li Ming Yan landed at LAX. One of your agents interviewed her at that time. She then traveled to New York. Your agent from Los Angeles followed her to New York and sought an interview on both the 1st of May and the 2nd of May in 2020. The FBI took Dr. Li Ming Yang's phone, on which the doctor showed evidence of WeChat communications between herself and the director of the CDC in Beijing, all the way dating back to December of 2019 regarding the Chinese military's involvement in the development of the virus and specific links to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Director Ray, when did you become aware of your agency's interface with Dr. Yang? When did you review those WeChat messages? Um, I'm not sure that there's much I can say about any specific investigation. I will say that a couple things. One, um, as I think, I think you know and I think the committee knows, I have been very vocal and I intend to continue to be very vocal about the counterintelligence threat which takes a wide variety of forms from the People's Republic of China and the Chinese Communist Party. And I think it's one of the most significant threats facing this country. Is Dr. Yan part of that threat? Well, I, I, again, I want to, don't want to speak specifically about any particular investigation. But the second thing I would mention is that... Well, here's, here's why that's important. Yeah. On, on the first thing, Director A, you know, back in, October, or in you know, April and May of 2020, we didn't have six, nearly 600,000 people dead as a result of the coronavirus. On October 14th, 2020, FBI agent Andrew Zittman brought a scientist who was working with the FBI to meet with Dr. Yan in New York on October 14th. They met for nearly six hours. Can you tell us anything about that meeting and what it tells us about the origins of this virus? It is simply unacceptable to sit here a year later and say you're not going to tell us whether or not there was information about the origins of the virus when it is so central to the safety and health of our fellow Americans. I, I certainly understand the, the point of the question. Again, I, I have to be careful not to discuss specific investigations. Um, I will say that in addition to our investigative work, uh, as I think has been recently publicly stated by uh, the DNI and I think even the President himself, the intelligence community has been looking at this issue. There are differences of view within the intelligence community about the origins of the coronavirus. I totally and understand so forth. all that. I'm, uh, I'm trying to resolve a, those differences. A deeper with dive on that subject. So, Director, it, it, we are unable to hold the Chinese Communist Party accountable if we throw our hands in the air and say, well, there's differences of opinion. We have to assess whether those differences are similarly rooted in fact. That's why I need the facts from you. Will you provide to this committee any scientific analysis that the FBI has done regarding Dr. Yan's claims, regarding the messages she provided to you regarding Beijing's knowledge of the origins of this virus, their military's involvement, and even efforts to try to present to the world a fake genome sequence at the beginning of, of these developments? I'm, I'm happy to see what information we can provide. I will have my staff follow up with yours and see what information we can share on you the subject. You get that if, if we don't look at that rooted information, we're unable to ascertain what differences of opinion are correct and incorrect. But it's hard to believe that the FBI didn't believe Dr. Yan was credible or significant because she lands on April 28th. Your agent, Dana Murphy, takes her phone that day. I'm holding the receipt from where you got the phone that had the WeChat messages that had very important information regarding Beijing and the Chinese Communist Party. And it's not every day that an FBI agent flies from Los Angeles to New York to follow a Chinese doctor who is a whistleblower and a fact witness. And even if Dr. Yan's technical analysis of the virus is incorrect, the fact that she showed up saying that she wanted to provide information and tell the truth seems significant today. Now, back when Dr. Yan made these pronouncements regarding the Chinese Communist Party, their military involvement, the leak of this virus from the lab. We had a number of people trying to discredit her. Are you able to ascertain whether or not that effort to discredit Dr. Yan is part of the counterintelligence efforts by the Chinese Communist Party? 
Again, I, I want to be careful both about what information we can provide in general about any kind of ongoing investigation, but also about what in form that information would take, because in some cases you may be touching on things that would be classified, and that might require a different format. So I, I certainly understand why you're asking the questions. Let me commit to you that I will go back with my folks and see what information can be provided and what form it would have to take if we can provide any. That would be very the helpful. Time uh, 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 Mr. Chairman, may, time I be, may I be recognized? Mr. Deitch. Oh, wait, hold on, Mr. Chairman. You let everybody else go over for a minute. May I be recognized just for unanimous consent request? The gentleman's time has expired, You're not Mr. treating Deitch. everyone equally, Mr. Chairman. You went over by more than the a minute. Mr. Time Mr. Johnson went over by 45 seconds. Gentleman's right? time has expired, Mr. Deutsch. Consent request. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You want to unanimous consent for what? To, to get oh, a oh, oh, the okay, I'm sorry. Just a UC is all. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I seek unanimous consent to enter into the record the receipt from the United States Department of Justice wherein Dr. Yang's phone was taken by FBI agent Dana Murphy. Without objection, uh, without objection, the gentleman's time has expired, Mr. Deutsch.